Oh, play. Sukhana Vita waiting at dummy half. So they keep it going through Groom. The right hand side. They're working into Irish territory, about 45 away from the line when they play it. Sukhana Vita again from dummy half. He goes back to Vonamataratu. He's playing in the headgear at times during the tournament, not playing in it here tonight. Sukhana Vita goes from dummy half back to Groom, who will kick. And charge down, a chance here for Ireland. Can they come up with a ball? Finnegan was there. He played at it and comes back to Aaron Grimm as they go to the right-hand side to the Guama. He's got Art Uate on his outside. He may not need him. He's still going, Wes. They won't track him down. He comes to Damien Blanche. Crashes across the top of the Irish winger. And Wes Guama scores for Fiji. They'll play from in front some ad-lib football off a charge down. Simon Finnegan had a play at it. But Aaron Groom quickly realised there were numbers to the right-hand side and the Guama did the rest. Yeah, this is what they've done so well. The Irish is getting down, putting plenty of pressure on the kicker there. You could just see Aaron Groom decided to run the ball after he caught it. He knew they were going to be short out wide. Again, Fitzpatrick didn't go in and make the tackle. He needed to get in there nice and quick. That was Liam Finn, I should say. And then the pace. Where's the Guam and the strength to get over? A good bit of work here by both sides. Won the Fijians to realise they had to keep running the ball, put pressure on the Irish side. This is exactly what's happened to the Irish in the last couple of games of, in this World Cup. They put themselves under a lot of pressure. Had starved of the ball, but where's that Guama? Watch the power here when he hits Damien Blanche. Gets over the top, plants it. Now that's fine. 